Well, I've been asked, T Mac, when are you gonna get back on the creek, the creek trapping? Well, here it is. <laughs> I'm gonna try to spend a couple weeks here on the creek, and uh, I've already got this set set. I haven't caught nothing yet, but it's only been there a little while. And what I've got going for me here is I got a huge trail that comes across right here in this shallow spot of the stream. And I got a tree stand over there because I've been watching deer use it. And I noticed the coon, they work it too. Just, I mean, a lot of these trails, deer trails, everything uses them. You know, they're major highways. So he, if they're coming along this bank right here, I got my set over here. And as you can see, there's no place to really punch a dirt hole. It's solid rock. So I made my own little stone cubby, which is just a creek cubby is what I call it. And it's just some rocks. Make a little tunnel in there so that the animal can see what's going on in there. And uh, I'm tied off to this. I'm tied off to this log right here. That's my drag, and I just kind of made it a part of the set. Now when a coon comes in here and gets caught, he'll tear all this up, but he ain't going to drag that log very far. So this is just a creek cubby is what I call them. If you ain't got any place to punch a dirt hole, we don't have a lot of mud on this creek at all. So it's mostly rock. I got nice flowing water, so my trap's going to stay open. And I'm just going to set this in there. I'm using fish as a bait. And I got a little beaver caster here, just if I want to put a little smell out. Uh, I forgot my coon stuff at the house, so this will have to work. One thing you got to remember on these rocky creeks is you still got to bed your trap somewhat. I mean, they're used to this rocks being loose and stuff, but I like to have my trap bedded pretty solid. Of course, I got this stone here to kind of guide him in. And I still want to touch my trap, make sure that it's not rocking. And uh, these la these leaves right here, I tell you what, they sink pretty good. Once you get them underwater, they'll stay. There's a bunch of them here. I just lay a few of them over that. Not very many. Don't want them to build up. Just to kind of disguise it a little bit. But that trap's black. It's dyed. He ain't going to see it. He'll come right in and work his set. But I was going to put some lure on here. I'd uh, just take a stick. You don't have to worry about your scent near as much when you're trapping on the creek for coon and mink. And If we had muskrats, I'd be trapping for them. Put a little bit of your smell on a stick. Just kind of set it up there, up high. So that permeates through the air, and uh, it's supposed to get cold tonight, get real cold, teens, and not to get above freezing tomorrow. So this creek's going to freeze up in places, but right here we got a lot of movement, and it, we should be good. And the one good thing about trapping on the creek is you ain't got to worry about your dirt freezing up. That trap, if anything steps on it, it's going to go off. Now this is the set that just caught that coon. As you can see, I'm wired off to that big stump right there, which he didn't drag very far, <clears throat> and stayed in the creek. Got my trap submerged right in front of it. Duke one and a half. And I just got a hole dug out underneath these roots. I've caught mink here, I've caught coon here, so this is just one of my primary spots. It's a, there's a nice crossing right here. They come out of this bottom, come across right here, cross this little creek, and head out to the open fields. We also do a lot of camping right here too. That's what the tarp's all about. This is another set I have just down the way on the creek. It's a pocket set. As you can see, I found some mud, so I utilized it. And something was already digging around in here. 
possibly a mink. And when I dug that hole, I found a worm and a grub, so I know they're going to be feeding there. And I got the rocks on each side just to keep it from coming in any direction but my trap. And I'm tied off to a rock right there. Moving water, so we're in good shape there. When you're looking for a drag, I'd probably go too big, but I'd rather have it bigger than too small. I have to chase him all over. They're not going to be real mobile anyway, because they're going to have a trap on their foot. <clears throat> but you want it to be pretty sturdy. I mean, you don't want it to be too rotted, and a couple knots is good. I'm going to put that wire around here so that wire doesn't slip over these knots and it can't go down in here because of the V. And you just don't want it slipping off either end. And uh, I'll just kind of lay it in here next to the set, probably like that. And hopefully, I caught a coon off this hole uh, the first of the season, I just on my way I seen this hole and thought, oh, I'll, I'll throw a set in there and end up catching a coon, but I'm going to trap it again and see what happens. When you put your, uh, I like to have a nice flat rock down here for my trap to sit on. And uh, sometimes you need like a nice flat rock back up in there. Put your bait on so your bait doesn't wash down the stream. For these coon around here, it seems like this one and a half works just fine. <laughs>